Hey everybody, it's Justin and it's Friday and I want to show a new awesome uh, feature that I love about payments within HubSpot and taking forms. So I want to set this up as you're going to do a live event or maybe a virtual event. We're still between those phases. You know, some people are doing virtual, some people are doing live, uh, but you want to do a paid event. So you got your industry knowledge, you know exactly what you're going to do, or you're doing like a workshop style. This is a great way to set this up. Say, hey, come in, register for this event. Boom, have everything in HubSpot. So I want to walk through those steps real quick and show you what the end result looks like and how sweet it is and how simple it is to take these payments now. Um, with that, you've got to have HubSpot payments set up and configured. I'm not walking through that in this video today. Um, I'm ultimately just showing you how to create those products, how to then create the payment links that you want to use off of that products, and then go from there creating the forms with the new payment option. So with that, let's dive right in. So we're going to go into sales and we're going to go down to payments and it's going to put you into this easy option of seeing you all your payments there that you've got. I'm going to go to manage payment links on the right hand side and go to my product library. What I'm going to do is create a new product called my October in person workshop. All right. 2022, put a space there. I'm going to say, come join us live about a workshop on building out your sales process. Boom. Product type. I'm going to say it's no inventory. Um, you can see the options there just to give you some ideas. Um, but there, I'm going to say this, the price is $750. It's billed one time. Um, what does it cost our team, which is your unit cost? Again, there's nothing here. Um, this is just time. So you could put, hey, I'm going to put my time and there's no billing on that side. It's not an e-commerce product. So I'm just leaving it as is. Um, with that, I'm going to say save. Boom. I've got my, my new workshop here. I'm going to go into payment links. I'm going to say create a payment link. I'm going to use my library item. I like library items. It keeps it organized and simple instead of having all these custom things. Um, and it's also a lot easier when you use SKUs because then you can do some great automations off of SKU specific style item. So I'm going to say add. This looks good. I'm going to go ahead and say next. My internal name is 2022 October workshop. Boom. Pipeline. I'm going to say sales pipeline. Move it down to deal one. Okay. With that, I don't want to add anything to checkout. I'm going to give people a credit card or bank account. Honestly, we're doing a workshop. Let's just go ahead and just leave work, um, credit card only. So then it's less questions or decisions for people to make. We don't need a billing. That's more details for them to stumble on the checkout. So keep the checkout as thin as possible. Um, I'm going to add in here company. Ooh, you got to spell company, Justin. Oh, wow. Company name as a form field as well, and then add in first name and, or actually, sorry, we don't need these specifically because we're going to use the form first. So we just want email to keep this form as simple as possible. Look at that. Just even fix themselves while we're doing it. All right. That looks great. That's all we need. We only wanted this information to take the credit card. Hit create. Now let's go create that form. So we're going to go underneath marketing. Go to lead capture, go to forms. I'm going to say create form. I'm going to use a standalone page. You can embed this on any other page you have in your website or your landing page within HubSpot as well. Um, but these are the best two to use for this style of checkout that we're doing. So we're going to do standalone. I'm going to say registration instead of a payment. And I'll show you why. So then it's got these fields already pre-populated in. I don't have to spend a lot of time dragging those over. Again, this is why we love HubSpot because you can save time and automate a lot of tasks and streamline your build out. Those are already done. Sweet. I'm going to call this my 2022 October workshop. Oh, yes. I added an exclamation. I'm going to add a little styling to this. Move this guy down here. And then I like a branded form. So let's bring in here, add in our image in a box. I'm going to center. That one, boom, options look good. Thank you, Paige. Here it is, folks, on the options. All right, now what we're going to do is say collect payments. 
So we're going to turn that on and it's going to say what payment link. With this, you can't use products. You have to create payment links. With that, I'm going to say my October workshop. And now you see our 750. Perfect. Now I'm going to say save and update. Boom. I've got this nice URL. You could take this URL, add it to a redirect um, within the HubSpot domains and URLs to create like a nice branded one that you could use on social media or in emails because um, this one's long right now. With that, what does that form look like? Boom, I've got it right here. So I'm going to type in Justin Givens, put in my, my fun testing email address, put in my phone number, okay? And then I'm going to hit continue to payment. Here's the cool thing. If they don't complete this process, you've got the lead. You've captured that first page of information. Now you can put them into like what, E-commerce, we call an abandoned cart workflow. It's awesome. It's great. And then now look, it's already got my email address pre-filled in. The end user doesn't have to focus on anything. They can just put their credit card information in and go to the checkout. Easy, simple, awesome. HubSpot, great work on making this update. It's awesome. Um, with that, if you got any questions, just let me know in the comments. I'm happy to demo this more to, if you have like a specific use case, just let me know. And, um, a shout out to Darmesh there. I've got my dad shirt on, you know, I keep all my dad jokes in a data base. What's up? Y'all have a good Friday.